and we're going to the I just did a little vlog thing. We're going to the beach today. And this is mommy with disciple cups. I'm very excited. And we're gonna do Bible study. Today, um, I'm going to be speaking about um, being more like Jesus. Um, being more like Jesus means imitating his character, values, and actions in our lives. Striving to love others selflessly and serving God faithfully. Okay, so just really simple and basic. I'm just going to talk about three things that Jesus was not, and then three things that Jesus was. Three things Jesus wasn't. He Number one. Everyone say number one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> he wasn't selfish. Um, an example of one of Jesus' disciples being selfish um, can be found in John 12, 4 to 6. And it says, But Judas Iscariot, the disciple who would soon betray him, said that perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold um, and the money given to the poor. So what just happened was this um, Lady Mary, she poured out some really expensive perfume over Jesus' feet, which was worth like... A whole year's wages pretty much. So in today's day and age we'll just say it's worth like sixty grand. This yeah. perfume. Oh. And she broke it over Jesus' feet like as an act of um just worship and honoring God and um Judas was obviously mad at this because he dealt with all of the money and um not that he cared for the poor. Oh, I forgot about that. Jesus um stopped. he was a thief. So um since he was in charge of all of the disciples' money he often stole some for himself. So he said, um, this woman's foolish, um, it should have been given to the poor, but really, he was selfish. Um, he did not see Mary's act of love towards Jesus, but saw it as a waste of expensive perfume from which he could have profited. Number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus was not compassionless. An example of some of Jesus' disciples being compassionless can be found in Matthew 19:13. One day, some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could lay his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. So these parents, the, the, the children weren't necessarily sick, but they've heard about Jesus. They were really eager to see him and talk to him. Um, and the disciples said, um, go away. Don't bother him. Like he's kind of resting kind of a thing. Um, they were compassionless. Um, their lack of compassion towards those in need is evident um, through them turning away the parents of children who were eager to see and hear from Jesus. Um, number three. Number, number three. three. They, um, Jesus was not doubtful. An example of um, his disciples being doubtful can be found in Matthew 8, 23 to 25. Then Jesus got into the boat and started, and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, shouting, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. The disciples were fishermen, so they were used to working at sea. So this, we can only assume that this would have been a pretty significant big storm for them to think that they were going to die. Um, even with Jesus in their boat, though, they still doubted that they were going to be safe um, and that God could um, bring them through the storm. And then here's three things that Jesus was. Jesus was selfless. An example of be Jesus being selfish can be found in John selfish. 13, 45. Selfless. <laughs> not, not selfish, not selfish. Okay. Selfless. Uh -huh. Not selfish can be found in John 13, 45. Um, John 13, 45 says, So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. So this was um, just after the Last Supper, and despite knowing that Ju Judas would soon betray him, Jesus performed the most selfless um, and servant-like act by washing all 12 of his disciples' feet, um, including Judas, the one who was about to betray him. Number two, Jesus was compassionate. An example of Jesus being compassionate um, can be found in Matthew 19, 14 and 15. 
Um, but Jesus said, let the children come to me. Don't stop them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. And he placed his hands on their heads and blessed them before he left. Instead of being compassionless like his disciples and not caring for the children, Jesus was compassionate. He took time out when it was probably inconvenient and he was likely tired um, because he saw um, that they just wanted to be with him. So he took compassion upon them. Number three, Jesus was faithful. An example of Jesus being faithful can be found in Matthew 26, 39 and 42. He went on a little further and bowed with his face to the ground, praying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then Jesus left them for a second time and prayed, my father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will be done. This was at the time where he's in the Garden of Gethsemane just before he's about to get taken away to be um, crucified on the cross. And he's obviously um, stressed and worried about um, dying on a cross. I think it's a pretty bad way to die. And he kind of knew that. Um, so he's just kind of thinking about it and he's obviously praying. Um, and Jesus asked God to take away his suffering because um, he was about to endure the cross. Um, and he doesn't ask him once, but he asks him three times. So we can kind of see the severity of how worried he is about this um, but despite God not taking away his suffering um, Jesus remained faithful he didn't run away um, and he didn't give up um, and yeah that's just kind of three things Jesus was and Jesus wasn't so he wasn't um, selfish but he was selfless he wasn't compassionless but he was compassionate and he wasn't doubtful but he was faithful um, yep that was it clap it up guys clap it up well done. Wow, that's so <laughs> rude. Well done. I made such a good mistake. Just teaching him, and he was getting so stressed out, like frantic make, in the kitchen. Could you make a two and a half minutes on this shot? Make yeah, sure you exactly. don't put the meat on. Hot, very hot. Yeah.